Morning News continues, live from Global Edmonton. And we're going to zip back to Happy Harbor Comics once again. Yeah, that's where Lorraine is this morning, and I believe she's going to show us some comic book toys this time. Mm -hmm. We are. So, you know, in the late 30s, early 40s, it was Superman, it okay. was Batman. Yeah. yeah. And uh, not too long after that, the toys came hand in hand. Uh, collectibles were out of the gate almost as quickly as the comics. So you had action figures and dolls back in the day. You had things like uh, decoder rings and memberships to the, you know, the, the, the junior member society and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that was, it was a lot of fun. Very easy, very inexpensive. However... Uh, Today, things have come a long way. The, uh, the, the level, the quality, and the price tag, accordingly, has, has come up. And you're into things like uh, statues and mini busts, uh, higher-end collectibles for people that are looking for a, a feature piece in their home or a feature piece in their, in their toy room. Now, you've got walls and walls of toys, much smaller toys as well. I'm assuming yep. they're more affordable, yeah. but they're a real sign of pop culture. They are, and it's, the again, the crossovers of media. So you've got comic books that have become movies, like Sin City. Uh, you've got movies that become action figures for pop culture, like Napoleon Dynamite. And then you've even got classic bits uh, that get made into pop culture, something that people can, can take home and put on their desks or workstations and stuff like that. Okay, and then there's something I hadn't heard of. It's called Geek Chic. It's gone right into fashion, so come take a look. And that's where the hats and the t-shirts come in. Yeah, and it's very, very, very popular right now for both men and women. Uh, you know, you get women looking for all sorts of... The iconic shirts sell really well, so like Superman symbols, Batman symbols. Um, and for men, it's, it's almost everything from, uh, you know, having that classic character uh, on their t-shirt um, and then even having some Something like the Planet Krypton shirt, um, which is Planet Krypton is the fictitious comic book restaurant uh, <laughs> that plays tribute to Superman's destroyed home planet of Krypton. Okay, let's go down to these Kiss dolls. This is a pretty amazing collection. They are. They're uh, they're very impressive. And again, it's it's another reason how something like music taps into the pop culture universe. You know, by creating in this case 24-inch action figures uh, that play snippets of songs from various Kiss songs. Now, would these be collector's items? Oh, absolutely. These ones in particular are, um, they're numbered. Um, they are, you know, usually in very high demand. There wasn't tons and tons of them made, so there's always people that are kind of looking for it. As long as there's Kiss fans, it'll always be Kiss collectors. Okay, and what you want to know is it ain't cheap. $1,250, but that's for the set of four of the Kiss dolls. So how many sets would you like? They are numbered, don't forget. Wow. And then I have to wrap with my favorite doll. Now, can you imagine Aunt Lorraine showing up at someone's doorstep and giving their darling okay. little daughter yeah. a doll like this? Sure. Like, I brought you Chucky. <laughs> Happy birthday. How ugly is that doll? Yeah. It's just frightening. Look at that face. <laughs> Say goodbye to Chucky. Nah. Goodbye, ah. Chucky. Ah. Free, 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 free. I'd have nightmares. Forget about the little girl. Okay, when we come back, you know that we have two cartoonists who are working at... Uh, putting together a page for us of comics. We'll have that for you, the final product, in just a few minutes. Oh, ring, ring. This cameraman is funny. He's on yes. fire. For more information on the comic book industry, you can drop by Happy Harbor Comics on 101st Happy Avenue Harbor. and 124th Street, or give them a call at 452-8211. I don't think, uh, you know, don't look for the landmark harbor per se, Mike. There isn't really a harbor in that area, but the name is Happy Harbor Comics.